Less than 24 hours after Daryl Daniels was found not guilty on seven charges, he is speaking out. News for Jacks reporter Janice Harris covered the trial and has a copy of Daniels' statements live in Clay County. Janice. Daniel said he has experienced abuse and overreach for the last three years. And he says it's an example of portions of the sectors of government going far out of reach more than they should. I feel good. Former Clay County Sheriff Daryl Daniels was found not guilty after being accused of tampering with evidence and lying to police in 2019. The verdict has sparked mixed feelings. Some are ready to see him run for sheriff again, while others disagree. So we asked, should Daryl Daniels run for sheriff again? He said, nope. As someone who went to the courthouse and watched everything carefully, there is no way he should have gotten not guilty on all charges. One thing that's very suspicious to me is the fact that within days of a primary election, the powers that be, specifically the state attorney's office, has decided that today is the day that they will execute their plan. This is video of when then Clay County Sheriff Darrell Daniels still sought out a second term as sheriff. Michelle Cook won with 37% of the vote to Daniels 29%. We, the jury, find the defendant is not guilty. Fast forward to this week, Daniel's Absolutely. attorneys described the charges as we a witch hunt. In a statement, Daniel said in short, the abuse and overreach that I have had to endure over the past three years is an example of what happens when sectors of our government go unchecked. If this abuse of power by government entities can happen to a duly elected sheriff, then it can happen to anyone. Generally speaking, Daniels could go back to court to clear his name by suing for defamation of character. Local attorney Shannon Schott, not affiliated with the case, explained how this could work. And in this case, they, you know, they, you wouldn't be able to sue the prosecutor or the judge necessarily because of immunity for those individuals. Um, but there could be a circumstance where maybe a law enforcement agency, if they were acting in bad faith, could be sued for, you know, for negligence or from, for some sort of um, intentional tort. Schott explains a person has the right to file a lawsuit for defamation of character and the penalty could be financial or principal, among other things. I promise a, a press conference at a later time. As for Daniels, no one knows his next step, but he has alluded to working to protect the community from being misused. Daniels also said in a statement, I look forward to identifying ways to continue to serve the people and working to ensure that the government works for them and not to persecute them. That was a part of the statement coming from Daryl Daniels. I also called out to his point of contact to see if we could ask more questions, follow up questions regarding this story. I haven't heard back from them yet, but you can read his entire statement in this story on our website on newsforjax.com. Reporting live in Clay County, Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station.